Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today. If you have never joined me before on Periscope, my name is Keely and I am the owner at lovehopeadventure.com. Over there I blog about the marriage um, and how we can be closer to our spouses. I love writing articles that help people uh, to address a lot of issues that they deal with in their marriage and kind of get those conversations started. Thanks so much for joining. Hey. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about a story. Uh, yesterday, I shared, if you were able to view it, about your marriage and how your marriage stories matter and other people need to see them and hear about them. So today, I wanted to talk to you about the first time that I really disagreed with my husband and how I handled it. Uh, when we were dating, we worked at a summer camp called Camp Hope Haven. We dated for five years. And my husband was able to work out there at the camp full-time a couple of summers. I worked out there part-time, just we both did a volunteer there. Um, he got on staff the year before we got married. And when we got married, we wanted to go work at that camp together. So we were completely crazy, let me just tell you that. We got married, and one week after our honey, we had our honeymoon for a week. And then the very next week, we were living at Camp Hope Haven and working together. So it was kind of a draining summer because we had just gotten married, and we were trying to work out this whole marriage thing, and we were not near each other as much as we would like to have been. Um, we had to work at the camp from Sunday evening to Friday evening, and our ability to spend time together was pretty limited. Right after that, we moved up to Lynchburg uh, so my husband could go back to school. Hey guys, thanks for joining. And it was really difficult because the following summer we were asked to come back to the camp. Well, I had no intentions of going back to the camp. While it was a really good experience and really awesome for us, we had to pay our rent at the apartment up in Lynchburg. And we were going to make very little at the camp, and I was very concerned about that. I also was concerned about, hey, how are you? S, I don't know how to say, Dakota, maybe? Um, I, I was really concerned about the finances and about our jobs. At the time, I had a job working for an attorney, and I was really concerned that if I came to him and said, well, I can't work here anymore, that he was going to fire me and that I wouldn't have a job when I came back. So I really didn't want to go back to the camp, but Austin really did. And he really felt that God was leading us back to Camp Hope Haven, and I didn't think that God was. It was very difficult for me because up until this point, we had pretty much always been on the same page about everything. And while we had only been married for about a year, we had been in a relationship, in a dating relationship, for five years prior to this. So, you know, we had a long-standing relationship, and this is the first time that I ever really disagreed with something that he wanted to do. So, what I did was I really, really prayed about it. And I prayed that God would just show me whether or not we were supposed to go back to this camp. And I said to him, I was like, God, if we're supposed to go back, then please let me lose my job at the attorney's office because that was the biggest hang-up that I had. Uh, finding a job at attorney's offices was very hard in the area and I just prayed if, if we're supposed to go back to the camp this summer then please let me lose my job there and wouldn't you know it it was probably a week or two after I prayed that that I was let go from that position. It was through a temp agency and the attorney just wasn't getting the business that he expected and immediately I knew that we were supposed to go, and that's how I handled my first um, real disagreement with my husband. He wanted to go this direction because he felt God was calling us to it, and I didn't think it was where we were supposed to head. That was very difficult for me, uh, and I really prayed about it. And I, I know the Bible talks to us about submitting as wives, submitting to our husbands. I think a lot of people don't really understand what submission means. And in that situation, I knew I needed to submit to him. But let me just tell you something. It was hard. It was a growing time for me. And I really had to pray that God would change my mind about it. And in the end, I had peace. Um, I had peace about that situation. And that is how I handled that in my marriage. Um, it was very hard. 
So hopefully, if you have a disagreement in your marriage, that you will do the same thing, that you will really get on your knees to God and ask him how you're supposed to handle it. And I know that he will tell you, um, whether or not you're the husband or the wife, God uh, will lead us in the decisions that we need to make if we will just listen to him. And we need to be obedient to him. And, and men, let me tell you something. If you really show your wife that you are listening to God, that you are being obedient to him, she will be much more willing to follow you. I promise. It's when she doesn't think you're listening to God that she's going to be less likely to follow your leadership. Um, and that is still disobedience on her part, but as a leader, you should be um, in great relationship with God. As, as a wife, same thing. Um, and in marriage, both of us, husband and wife, our main responsibilities is to grow closer to God, be the husband or wife that God wants us to be, and then if we are what God wants us to be, we will be what our spouse needs us to be. Thanks for joining me today. And if you want any more marriage advice, please visit me over at lovehopeadventure.com where I post uh, pretty regularly about the marriage relationship. And thanks so much for joining me. I will catch you next time on Periscope.